Good morning, SBC. It is Tuesday morning and happy Valentine's Day. I hope that you're ready to share this day with someone that you love and that you will share love with someone that you meet today. You know, the scripture teaches us about love. And what we find when we look into the word of God is that in our world, in our culture today, love is also often romanticized, but it is not realized. Now, what I mean by that is that we often see, whether it's on Instagram or the Hallmark Channel, this snapshot of what love is supposed to be. But then in reality, when you're looking at more than just a snapshot, not more than just a 60 second clip, more than just a 30 minute show, love becomes a lot more difficult. And it turns out that love is not as pretty as it actually is covered with blood, sweat, and tears. When you truly love, it wears on you. And so what you have to do is you have to choose to endure. The scripture says over there in 1 Corinthians in chapter 13, love never fails. Love always hopes, perseveres, and love never fails. Well, folks, I don't know about you, but as we look around our culture today, I'm afraid I don't see a lot of the blood, sweat, and tears I see only the Instagrams and the Hallmark channels, the snapshots that say, hey, this is what love looks like when it's all flowers and sunshine, but real love is when hospice care is brought in. Real love is when you're taking a meal to an individual who is dying with cancer. Real love is when you're going to that jail cell to see that individual. Real love is when you go down to the principal's office to talk with your child. Real love is when things get hard, but you endure. Maybe today, love has been worn thin on you, and the romance is gone, and the reality is set in, and you're not sure that you have it in you anymore. Let me read to you a passage that doesn't specifically state love, but it is the picture of love that is painted. The Apostle Paul, who wrote 1 Corinthians 13, also wrote a letter to the Galatians. And there in chapter 6, there in verse 9, he says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially those who belong to the family of believers. Paul says, listen, we are to love in season and out. We are to love when it's ugly and when it's beautiful. We are to love and to do good to those that are around us, especially in the family of believers, when it's easy and also when it's hard. Today's Valentine's Day. Maybe today you're missing somebody that you loved a great deal. But God loves you. And I promise you, you will endure with his love supporting you. Can you share that love with others? Can you pass that love on to someone else? I know it may not be pretty sometimes, but it is so, so important. I hope you have a beautiful and wonderful Valentine's Day and that today, perhaps more than any other day, you will take the time to do good to someone who needs it. Share love with someone who needs it not deserves, but needs the love that God has. Make it a great day, SBC, and I'll look forward to catching up with you right here at Second Baptist Church.